Hello everyone, welcome to eLearning Info IT and finally after long time I am creating these two videos, okay? So I believe you received these SNS notifications, okay? These two released, okay? That last two or two days before, so I am going to create that two separate video for these two scenarios, okay? First is that EPO 5.10 service pack 1, okay? this one and EPO 5.10 service pack 1 update okay so you see that is that name like update so basically the service pack 1 is for the newly server if you are creating new EPO server deploy one EPO server or basically implement one fresh EPO server that case you have to use this one okay because the all CU update included on this service pack okay and the second one is that update so basically if the EPO server is already installed in your environment and there is a already applied some you know uh, update 13 14 update 10 update 9 something like okay let's suppose that from update 1 to update 15 any one update is applied then you can apply this uh, service pack okay no problem you can also call it as a you know i tell you that obviously there is a mention the a service pack but i tell you you can consider as a that update as a update 16 see uh, 16 actually okay so <laughs> is that naming conversion doesn't see i'm not going to comment on that but i'm just telling you okay so i'm performing these two action my two different scenario first i am going to full newly build with this one and i have one scenario i have one epo server which is uh, 5.10 okay build version i am not remember that maybe the 2448 something and uh, a cu uh, cu15 basically cu15 is deployed and other components like agent ens and dlp and all that on this server okay so i am going to do that hmm. So let's get start. So I'm going to perform this first this one. So make sure guys earlier we installing EPO some zip file download from that uh, grand number. The same thing you have to download this file. Okay. Login to download center download portal basically with your grand number and download this setup file is available. Okay. And make sure whatever hardware software network other requirement for the epo server the same going to apply okay so keep in mind and apart from this if you need some information related to upgrade path you have to follow this kb article okay there is the mention all details related to upgrade path as well okay uh, this is the details like what do you need is this there is a clearly mention about it okay And you see this if already service so what that means if you already install this version basically if you install the fresh EPO with this package no need to run this okay just keep in mind so let's get start so I'm going to my server this is my server okay I, I show you what configuration in here so uh, firstly I'm logged into my uh, SQL database and I tell you this is the my server and this is the hardware detail what configuration I am using this is for the testing purpose that's why is that limited hardware configuration but your scenario is something production so that uh, you have to uh, prepare proper sizing prepare proper document and what sizing is required according to your notes and all okay keep in mind so let's check so that EPO server uh, basically the I'm using the server 2019 and SQL server express edition 2019 okay basically I, I have already installed and that server so so just like uh, click on that server configuration manager just I'm going to cross check you see that the TCP is going is disabled so now I'm going to enable it first then second and TCP IP go to that property let me check that port is configured or not so yeah that port is not configured yet so I am going to configure it 34 
yes and apply so basically that all notification uh, you configure whatever changes in here now required a sql server restart okay basically the services so i am restarting the services <coughs> the second change is you have to perform in the okay this is happen on the background registry changes okay so keep in mind if you are performing that production make sure you have to take proper backup of registry okay and take it as a backup save okay uh registry backup is taking time so let me check is done or not so yeah the backup is created and that size of 288 mb seriously anyway so let's go to this path first local and system control set and da -da 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 -da, control panel and file system so basically you have to check the value if there is the two you have to set as a zero and click okay now close it this is the done now i am going to perform some changes in the tls side okay you know that tls 1.0 is the vulnerable so uh, that 1.1 or 1.2 is recommended right but i think 1.3 also release i'm not sure <coughs> okay sorry right click run as administrator so here is something apply the best practice click okay and i'm going to remove this one and this one and select the reboot option and click to apply okay now server is automatic reboot because i selected okay so other thing guys make sure don't forget to read the release note okay before apply any changes and take the proper backup of the tpo uh, we will perform how to take the backup in your production site don't worry so what are the new changes and all okay so let me check we started or not yeah successfully reboot click next you know guys earlier what happened you install the tpo server then apply the update 15 or update 14 and all update are included right the service pack one all all are update is included okay so let's do something this is the zip file i have already downloaded you can also download via your grand number okay extract it okay now open it and here is setup okay but an as administrator make sure guys your database all pre configure okay don't do that during the installation come on okay click next click next if you change the directory during the installation you can change it okay i am taking the default this is a c drive if you want to deploy that d drive e drive this is the fresh installation okay guys click next see what happened the browsing service is not sql browsing service is running or not let me check why it taking too much time to find out the database here seriously sql yeah is that running I'm still taking time okay let's wait okay i'm putting that ip address for once is zero dot not 100 is that 200 yes 
using that SQL authentication essay make sure guys whatever account you are using for the database make sure db owner permission and sys uh, admin privilege should be on that account okay what well, see that older checklist is still follow on that see this installation okay guys so keep in mind expected Hit next okay no any warning or something yeah tls we have already done uh you know this one we done it that registry side otherwise it come to change it and reboot and all that's why i already done it okay so click to finish there is the port details if you want to you can set your customized port i am keeping default click next uh the console click the password username is admin and this is the 14 character wow mm 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 okay administrator at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 oh you can reset it later on no problem <coughs> license key so i am going to put as a evolution version but if you have license key you can put it and this is the trial okay accept click okay if you want to share the telemetry data then you can do that and install so guys this process take long time so i'm going to pause the video once this process is done we will validate that all things in the console okay guys <clears throat> process is still going on <sighs> once it done let me check services so first refresh and this two services come up and that server application service is running now that remaining two service is not running and one of that apache is not come so maybe it take time so now pause the video okay guys so all three services come up but uh, setup is still not completed so it's checking some component in that epo server so let's wait for that and once it done then continue <coughs> okay guys so now uh, setup is completed and it successfully installed i'm not going to select this one i'm going to launch that manually and all service are running okay that's good let's check on the console Now you can see that directly because that uh, branding change and some something so it's automatic come up. Otherwise, if you install that earlier now, then you have to install for CPU, then apply the update 15, then that relics uh, logo will come right. Okay, now let's go. Okay, so we have successful logged in. NPS server. Let's check. 
ओके दैट ई पी यू दैट बिल वर्जन फोर जीरो नाइन एट एंड अपडेट सर्विस पैक वन सो बेसिकली दैट इंस्टॉलेशन सक्सेसफुल डन चेक ऑन द सर्वर सेटिंग सर्वर इंफॉर्मेशन वेट इज वन वेर सर्वर इंफॉर्मेशन दिस दिस वन लोडिंग Yes. So it's also you can validate from here that version 5.10. This is the build version, and this is the basic information about. Okay, what the Tomcat version, Apache version, OpenSSL, and all. Okay, so I hope you understand that concept of oh, the service pack, service pack one for the newly server, and service pack one with update for the existing one. so next video i am going to perform the second one okay uh, uh this one okay so i hope you understand guys uh, thank you so much if you like this video please subscribe and make sure put that comment okay thank you bye bye